The hidden cost of sludge. Are we ignoring a toxic time bomb? Is your city's wastewater treatment truly clean? What happens to the sludge after treatment is just as important as the water released. Let's dive into the alarming differences between STP and CETP sludge and their hidden costs. STP sludge from domestic sewage is mostly organic. Think food waste, human waste, and soap. It can be treated and reused as fertilizer or biogas, offering a chance for resource recovery. However, increasing chemical use in homes and poor waste segregation are changing STP sludge. This raises pathogen levels and reduces its potential for safe reuse. Are we letting a valuable resource turn into a problem? CTP sludge from industrial wastewater is a different beast. It's loaded with heavy metals, toxic dyes, and chemical residues. This sludge is non-biodegradable and poses a serious threat to our environment. Mishandling CETP sludge contaminates soil, pollutes groundwater, and damages ecosystems. It requires costly and complex disposal methods like secure landfills and hazardous waste incineration. Managing STP sludge involves costs, but reuse options can offset some expenses. Decentralized systems and public-private partnerships can help manage the financial burden. CETP sludge is a financial black hole. Treatment, transportation, and long-term monitoring of hazardous waste facilities are incredibly expensive. Taxpayers often foot the bill for industrial pollution cleanup through government subsidies. We must demand proper segregation of domestic and industrial waste. Strict sludge characterization and enforcement of polluter pays principles are crucial. Let's stop this toxic legacy from draining our ecosystems and our wallets.